embed your Google Earth tour into your website, please follow the following steps. The first thing you have to do is find the tour that you've created. It will most likely be in the folder that has all of your place markers in it. Look for an icon that looks like a little video camera and right click on your tour. Scroll down near the bottom or in the middle, there's going to be a share slash post. What this is going to do is post your tour on a Google Earth community like discussion board which will allow you to get the HTML you need to put on your website. Click on share post and it will take you to the um, I guess it looks like the Google Earth community. We're going to click on experimental and temporary uh, just because there's this is probably the best place to go and then we're going to go to submit. You're going to have to sign in or register with this community so once you get to that spot which it looks like my computer is going to think you're going to register. Mm, scroll down to the bottom accept the rules and proceed once we accept the rules we will then begin our sign up uh, my username I'm just going to use my username at school I'm going to type in a password I'm going to verify that password I'm going to put in my email address. You'll most likely want to use your at chs.compilisd pass your email address. Good, I get to type it in again. And then my display name. I'm just going to use the same as my username. And submit. Now that I'm registering, it might take us just a minute. Once you create your account by registering, you must go into your CHS email because they've sent you a verification email. Look for something from Google and it's, it'll say something about like, thank you for registering. Click on that email and you're going to look to the bottom of the email where it says to activate this account, you must first click this link. Click the link and it will then activate your, um, your account. So I've already activated, so I'm going to go back in here. So now I should be able to log in with my username and password. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this. I'm going to accept the board rules and proceed. And now, immediately, I should be taken to a posting forum. So I'm going to name this. This is going to call this Mrs. Garvey's tour and I'm going to write this is my tour because I'd already kind of like started out the posting from so it knows what I want to post then I am going to submit once I submit my tour you'll see that I can preview this file with the Google Earth plugin I'm going to click on preview this file with the Google Earth plugin I want it to be on Google Earth, so I clicked on Earth. I can play the tour, I can download the tour, or what we want to do is embed the tour. So we're going to click on the embed. Once you've scrolled down, I want you to notice right under Gadget Settings, there is a map URL. So what I want you to do is copy that URL because right now you're in a Google Earth viewer. So you can view Google Earth on your website and move it around, but it's not playing your tour. So what we have to do is go get a whole nother gadget that looks just like this, but it's actually, um, instead of a viewer, it's actually a tour. So to get that, you can go to your teacher's wiki or you can go to www.coffeeisd.com slash iteam. And this is the technology website for the school district. And then under staff development, there's a Google Apps link. If you click on that, it will take you to our Google Apps website. Under that, you'll see calendars, sites, groups, video, and you'll see an Earth and how-to videos. If you click on the how-to videos, you'll see this video that you're watching right now. 
But then it says, here is the link to the Google Earth Tour Gadget. And that's what we need. So you click on link, and it will take you to the same. It almost looks exactly the same, except for now it says Embedded Tour Player. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into that area, and if there's something there, just you raise hand V or copy or right-click and paste, and you're going to put your URL inside the gadget settings. Okay? You can then change the border if you want it to be like red or orange. If you want to change the size of your gadget, you can actually do that same thing too. You can actually click on the very edge until you get an arrow. And then you can click and drag and make your viewer very large, or you can make it smaller. However you want that to look. When it's ready, then you scroll all the way to the bottom, and now you get the code. And this code is the code that you just copy. And then you're going to put this code into the HTML gadget on your website. If you don't know how to add an HTML gadget to a Wix website or a Google Site website, there are more YouTube videos that can take you in through that process, and they're also on your teacher's wiki, or you can find them on that same website that I talked to you about earlier, that Google Apps website. Alrighty, that's it.